everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am not going to be in this video today. Hello, I'll just say hi to you like this. I'm gonna be showing you some of my fragrances, picks for my favorite Christmas scents. And I thought I would just do it this way because it's really quick and simple and easy and I've got a lot of prep to do before Christmas. So you know how it is. So I wanted to get this video out before and these are basically my most Christmassy type of fragrances in my collection. Ones that go really well for wearing on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, any kind of holiday festival. So the first one I'm going to mention is this one by Eta Libre d'Orange um, and this is a French uh, niche house and this is Noël au Balcon, just the name alone. Noël au Balcon means like Christmas on the balcony or like Father Christmas on the balcony. They often have these kind of funny play on words. The main notes that I get in here are honey. There are a ton of other notes. You also get a little bit of um, pepperiness, some freshness. I feel like there is like a citrus note in here. It's either citrus or apricot. There is bergamot, cinnamon, and peppercorn as the opening. And then the heart notes are rose, lily of the valley, and honey. And the base notes are cedarwood, vanilla, and musk. I got a lot of honey in this. Like the honey is very, very real in here. You do get some spiciness from the peppercorns and the cinnamon. Um, so the cinnamon and the peppercorn gives it that spicy note that kind of reminds me just of Christmas time, you know, when you're baking and sometimes you reach for those kinds of spices. You know that um, sort of very fragrant white honey, like the one that's solid and that often has a very aromatic, fragrant type of smell to it? That's the type of honey I get from here and it's super realistic. Um, the only thing is the sillage on this is not too great. Like it's one that does kind of wear closer to your skin, but it does smell really, really beautiful. I think this is is the one I will be wearing this Christmas. This is by Kenzo and this is Kenzo Jungle L'Elephant. So elephant, the elephant jungle or jungle elephant in the jungle I guess by Kenzo. Yeah I think the bottle is really cute. I have the 50 mil if you get the 100 mil this one is real metal. I think mine is some type of a plastic but I don't really care because this fragrance is super strong. It's by uh, Dominique Ropion and this is a super super spicy very intense fragrance that lasts a long time. So you get dominant notes of cardamom, Mandarin orange, gardenia, heliotrope, clove, mango, patchouli, vanilla, ylang ylang, and licorice. Um, but the main thing that I really get in here is the cardamom, the clove, the vanilla, and a little bit of the mango. Actually, I got quite a bit of mango in here. Um, the mango kind of makes it interesting. Like it gives it almost a sort of a tropical type of feeling to it, but even though I would say this is just a super, super spicy fragrance for women. I think this is one that is actually fairly unisex. Let me just spray that. This has absolutely amazing projection and amazing lasting power. Um, honestly, this could be sold as a niche type of fragrance uh, for a much higher price because it performs bombastically and it smells super unique. Um, very, very spicy fragrance. Like I love, love, love cloves. I love baking with cloves at this time of year and cloves is one of the absolutely more stronger pungent spices that you can use in cooking. You get a lot of cloves in here. You get that cardamom spicy notes. You get a little bit of the mango. Ellie Saab and that is Girl of now. It's funny, this is another Dominique Ropion fragrance. Sorry, it has fingerprints all over it. I'm sorry about that. I have a lot of hand cream right now because I've been washing my hands so much, you know, with Corona and so my, my hands are like so dry. This is another super powerhouse fragrance, actually. I really like the bottle. It is in this very sort of art deco inspired bottle. Love that. If you're into the art deco period, this is definitely one to have just from the bottle. I think it's really pretty. So this is the original and this one actually really reminds me of Christmas because it's very sweet and it has dominant notes of pistachio, almond, and orange blossom. And all of those notes are actually things that I use in baking. I have been making this biscotti recently that is like an almond biscotti with um, cranberries and oranges, orange zest I put in there. So that's kind of what this reminds me of. And like pistachio is also something that I really enjoy and that a lot of people use like at this time of year to do baking and cookies and stuff. So that kind of almondy, pistachio, nutty note really gives me that Christmas feeling because I do like to bake with nuts and stuff around Christmas time. This is a very, very sweet fragrance. Like I actually was wearing this yesterday 
it's very, very sweet. You do get a lot of orange blossom in here. So if you enjoy orange blossom and if you enjoy very sweet orange blossoms with a slightly nutty vibe to them, you should absolutely check this out. And this lasts a really long time. Like performance on this is absolutely incredible. This is the Hugo Boss Private Accord for her, or Hugo Boss The Scent for her Private Accord. I know it's like a really long name. This is a 15 milliliter, it's an eau de parfum. I'll say right away, the performance and longevity on this is not bombastic. I do have some that perform worse than this, <laughs> some bottles, but this is nowhere near as long lasting as the other three that I've mentioned so far. But it is a really, really pretty scent. It is basically a chocolate orange fragrance. So that really reminds me of Christmas time because you guys know that at this time of year you can get, I think it's from Cadbury. I'm not quite sure, but you guys know those chocolate oranges that you can buy at Christmas time where you kind of crack them open. It's not like a deep dark chocolate. It's more like a milky chocolate with a lot of that um, orange in there as well. Oh my God, this is so good. This is like chocolatey, orangey. That citrusy combined with the chocolate is so, so gorgeous. All right, so next up I wanna mention Dior Addict. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is the current formulation that's on the market. Um, this has been reformulated a few times. Um, I think the current version is not as long lasting as it used to be, but it is a absolutely beautiful vanilla, spicy, deep vanilla an orange blossom type of fragrance. I've actually done a whole video about Dior Attic because it is an absolutely amazing collection or uh, scent. Look at this. This is the 15 ml bottle and since I got it, I've already used about half the bottle and I've only had this, I think for a month or something like that or maybe two months. I think about two months I've had it. I absolutely love this. This is like a beautiful, deep, rich vanilla with dominant notes of, um, cinnamon so it's like cinnamon vanilla you get this bright green fresh like stem like opening which is very interesting i think there's jasmine and orange blossom in here and you get a lot of vanilla and spiciness so you get this um cinnamon and almost like a little bit of cloves but the cloves are not like this is not nearly as spicy as like um, the Kenzo Jungle. This is a lot spicier. This one is more heavy on vanilla. So if you like spicy vanilla fragrances, this is one to check out. And this just kind of reminds me of Christmas time because, you know, at Christmas time I love baking and I bake a lot with vanilla pods and like vanilla bean and stuff. This one by Serge Loutens. I have the refill travel spray. This is Serge Loutens Femité du Bois. And this is such a Christmassy fragrance, a spicy cedar and plum fragrance. I think this is the one that I actually wore last year for Christmas. This reminds me of like a Christmas market in a way. There is clove, honey, cardamom, musk, orange blossom, plum, vanilla, cedar, cinnamon, um, ilong ilong, beeswax. So the main inspiration be behind this fragrance, if you look at the um, the YouTube channel of Serge Loutens, the main inspiration behind this is supposed to be cedar. So you get this cedary base, which always kind of just reminds me of Christmas because of the, the wo those woody notes, kind of reminds me of like a Christmas tree or something. And then you get the plum and you get this spiciness. So the spiciness is the part that kind of reminds me of the mulled wine and the plum gives it that sweet note. So it kind of reminds me of like plum pudding or something like that. The base is that woodsy base. Oh, this is so good. The longevity on this is very good. It projects nicely. It smells like spicy, plummy, almost like mulled wine type of scent, but then there's a lot of cedar in here. So it has that woodsy base, kind of reminds me of like a Christmas tree or a forest, like walking in a forest. Okay, and this is the last one I'm gonna mention in this video, and this is actually a men's fragrance. And I also like to wear this around this time of year. This is a gorgeous tobacco, uh, cedar, spicy, cinnamon and orangey type of fragrance. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but basically it's tobacco and then there are some woodsy notes. There is um, cypress and cedar in there. There are some spices like cumin in here, although the cumin is not too strong, so it doesn't have that sort of animalic cumin 
note. And then I also get dominant notes of the mandarin orange and the cinnamon. So that's what gives it that spicy, almost Christmassy type of vibe. So the cinnamon is very, very dominant in this and the orange and the tobacco. Those are kind of the main players I get. And then the dry down, you get a lot of the woodsy notes like the cedar and the cypress. The opening is very, um, cinnamon and orange oh my god it's so good kind of fresh because it has that orange citrusy opening but then right away you get the cinnamon and then the tobacco makes it so rich and sweet this would be a great like christmasy scent for guys but i think it's actually quite unisex because it does have a certain level of sweetness to it honestly think like if you're a woman and you like tobacco and you like sort of fruity sweetness and you like spicy scents like cinnamon um, try this out because I don't think it's actually super masculine and I think it actually leans quite unisex. Let me know if you have any of these or what is your favorite uh, Christmas time or holiday time fragrance. I would love to know. You can post that in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Happy holidays if you are celebrating and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.